Thank you. And thank you, Claudio, for this uh, uh, lively session, uh, lively first session in the morning. Uh, now we are going to go through uh, a short presentation on case studies. Uh, being one of the smallest uh, working group, I think, because it was just uh, I and uh, Justine. Um, so, what's the idea behind uh, case study? So we just try to to uh, scope uh, what we could do with with case studies, and we've already mentioned the the. the the efforts that we see really important to mobilize the wash sector, uh, in particular for long-term cholera prevention, and to help with this, we think it's really paramount to demonstrate uh, the, the the fact that wash we, we know it, huh? but we we are lacking examples, we are lacking stories to tell that will really um, uh, inspire. Uh, uh, wash actors and donors to really uh, uh, put some efforts into the into the work uh, for wash to contribute to cholera control. So, could case studies could be really a powerful tool to uh, mobilize, but to dis disseminate. We could think of uh, many uses of case studies to maybe disseminate uh, GTFCC guidance through examples. Um, to encourage experience sharing from a country to another or from an organization to others. So we just framed the, the, the scope of work uh, in like three different uh, activities. So the first would be maybe to agree on the objectives, uh, scope and format for uh, case studies. And maybe do this not uh, in isolation, but with other working groups, and in particular, uh, the advocacy working group, because I think it's the, the it will be the the use of those case studies. So we can even think that this uh, bit standalone uh, uh, working group on case studies can be merged within the advocacy working group. Uh, then we would uh, probably develop a few examples of case studies, so I suggest three, uh, just to test uh, how, the, the, how those case studies can be useful and, and, uh, and to see if we are, there is a really needs to put some efforts into it. And the third uh, step that can be done at the same time with the, the, the second step is to call for contribution from GTFCC members. Of course, it will not uh, be our stories uh, that we uh, are going to, to write on, but like the, the stories of the different actors that are contributing to the GTFCC uh, area and uh, from countries, of course. So just on so small progresses, we, uh, we identify maybe one first idea uh, and, and I think this is an idea uh, that uh, comes from uh, a long time ago already, that we could maybe use uh, historical uh, uh, success stories, like how cholera was controlled in the Americas, for example, in Mexico and Peru. And we, we, we have to find some um, uh, colleagues who would like to contribute to, to writing uh, those uh, those. Uh, Example, this first example. Um, if you have uh, uh, other ideas of a uh, nice case study that could be uh, worked on, we are totally open uh, to receiving your, your suggestions. Um, alongside with uh, who we should contact to uh, be able to develop those case studies. Um, so one of the challenges that we face is that uh, I think uh, I was the only one to raise hand uh, to, to come and join this, uh, this working group. So more participation is really welcome. Uh, and opportunities, uh, of course, I, th I think that we, we really should work with the advocacy working group, but maybe with other working groups that have ideas on 
maybe we can do a case studies on how to collect uh, wash data, for example, in the field, or so any other uh, uh, work stream can contribute to that. Uh, and I thought also uh, maybe this um, case study efforts should not be done in isolation in the wash working group, uh, but maybe with other, uh, I don't know, uh, OC, uh, I mean the OCV working group or the case management working group, so that we can have a, a, a wide array of uh, different case studies and not only the, the one in the wash with the same approach and the same uh, uh, format and so on. So it's like the idea maybe to merge with other um, working group that may also be willing to develop case studies. And I think that's all. So really, a warm uh, uh, call for uh, people to, to join this group. <laughs> <laughs>